what's up youtube welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is sydney i make videos every week about our walks with god faith fitness health sports basketball eating disorders nutrition all that kind of stuff so if you're interested in this type of content go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss one of my videos so today i'm going to give you guys well, I'm not really going to give you guys. This is in the Bible. I'm just going to like tell you guys that there are five ways biblically that we can love our life and have many good days. And that is regardless of suffering. That is regardless of persecution. That is regardless of any circumstances going on in our life. So if you check out 1 Peter, okay? 1 Peter chapter 1 and chapter 2 specifically talk about suffering and about how we will endure suffering. And suffering is inevitable. In inevitable and it is a part of life it's a part of living in a sinful world chapter three gives us five ways that we can love our lives five ways that we can always see good days no matter what is going on first keep our tongue from evil and second keep our lips from deceit so of course we already know that our tongue is powerful our words are powerful what we say means life or death and if it isn't edifying if it isn't encouraging if it isn't truthful if it isn't meant to build up then we shouldn't use it like we shouldn't be speaking that number three says turn away from evil okay that means don't associate with it that means honor our convictions number four says do what is good and the bible is our manual the bible is our instructions on how to live honestly like our best lives the world is going to say one thing the world is going to say that we have to get all this worldly stuff in order to be satisfied. But the Bible says the opposite. The Bible says if we lay down our lives, then we will be filled. If we lay down our lives, then we will be satisfied. If we humble ourselves, then we will be lifted up, right? So fourth is do what is good. And, and the Bible tells us what is good. So open that thing up. And number five, it said seek peace and pursue it. Peace is like a certain mindfulness i believe it's really important to protect our peace and that means choosing great things over good things that means taking time to be mindful and actually think about what we're thinking about um seeking peace says saying no so biblically bible gives us these five ways to love our lives and see many good days and that is despite our circumstances I truly believe that if we really work on doing those five things we will be successful all right thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time